Hello, and welcome to your 85th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca, and today I want to talk to you about how to check database consistency with T-SQL. Um, after completing the next few tutorials, you'll be able to understand the importance of maintenance plans, you will be able to check for database consistency, and you will be able to use the maintenance plan widget. Okay, maintenance plans are an essential part of ensuring database availability, consistency, and performance. And most plans include at least four steps that I have outlined right here. They are database backup and backup retention policy, index maintenance, statistics maintenance, and database consistency checking. Now, at some point, these steps may run together on a daily basis, or they may run on an individual basis daily weekly, monthly, or according to another schedule that satisfies the needs of your company or organization. Uh, prior tutorials that I've done have focused on backups, index maintenance, and statistics maintenance, which are integral steps in the execution plan. In the next few tutorials, we are going to add one more task to the list, and that's database consistency checking. After a brief discussion that I'll go over about consistency, I'll then shift the focus to building a complete execution plan for the databases in your environment. Alright, now a little about performing database consistency checks. Performing a database consistency check against the SQL Server database involves validating the logical and physical integrity of all database objects. The schema, data allocations, page and storage consistency, and many other aspects of the database are verified for consistency. Now, under the hood, several individual consistency checks at various levels are executed. So with all of this going on, you might be thinking that performing a consistency check seems like a colossal undertaking. But actually, only two key words are needed to perform an entire check. And they are right here. DBCC, check DB. Now, of course, you have several other options that you can append to this statement to limit the results or display additional information or even correct consistency problems. But these two keywords alone will provide you with the fundamental task needed to fully accomplish the job. So, let's go over and see about how we would check database consistency with T-SQL. Alright, I've already got it typed up here and ready to go. That same little, we're using the eventual 2012 database, and there's our command, database consistency checker, check database. Now, go ahead and type that in, and click execute, and this will take a few here, and maybe, I don't know, depending on the size, but it should take, I don't know, about 30 seconds. So, once it's done, click on the Messages tab, and any, uh, any consistency errors will be displayed in the listing that we're seeing right here. But, you know, these, this is just telling you what's going on. You're going to get this regardless of if there's errors or not, of if there are errors or not, excuse me. So, but if there are errors, that's where you would find them. So, that's it. That's how simple it is. It's just DBCC, check DB, but as I mentioned before, there are several options that you can append to the statement to limit the results, but we'll be getting into those a little bit more later. But for now, you now know how to perform a database consistency check with T-SQL. Thank you for watching my tutorial, and please come back for the 86 tutorial where I'm going to be diving into creating maintenance plans and we will be getting into using the maintenance plan wizard. See you there. Thanks.